Hi friends! Welcome to Cooking with Shelly, Pampered Chef Style, and to my Pampered Kitchen here at the Boston Tea Bed and Breakfast in Cart, just outside of Ottawa. So, how do you like your sandwiches? Today I'm going to show you a way to make gluten-free flatbreads. And this is a one that you can make that, you know, we're always, the stores are always low on things and uh, you might not be able to find what you need. And to be honest, I've had a hard time finding a gluten-free flat bread or a naan bread. And this one today, um, it's, they're interchangeable, flat bread, naan bread. This one is so much like a naan bread. And um, it's just made with, <coughs> three, four ingredients of your choice of, for the, the fourth one, and uh, very simple. All right, so let's get going. So I'm having tortillas uh, or fajitas tonight, and um, this is what I'm having my fajita with, making my, home, my homemade uh, flatbread, okay? So in my batter bowl here, I've got a cup of almond flour, and this is a cup of tapioca flour, or also known as tapioca starch. Okay. Now, um, if you've never cooked with tapioca starch, or you don't have any, if you have arrowroot flour or potato flour, that will also work. But this one gives it the st more stability. And this is the one I use, it's non-GMO. Um, my almond flour I get at Costco. And this one, I get it at Loblaws or anywhere that sells Bob's Red Mill. Um, you could also probably get it at Bulk Barn, but this one is non-GMO. And then um, it's a can of organic coconut milk. And this one, I also get this one at Costco, but I also get some um, at Farm Boy, which are organic. So you just want to mix this through. There's no leavening agent in this, okay? So no baking powder or, or baking soda or anything because it's a flat bread. So it's an unleavened bread. So for anybody that wants to not do yeast, this is another alternative for that. So I'm just pouring in my full can of coconut milk and I shook it first okay now uh, this was a pull up can if you have a can that you need to um, take the cover off then I would use my my uh, opener that doesn't leave any sharp edges so you don't get the sharp edges for in case of pets and small kids okay so then I'm also going to add garlic. Now you can use garlic powder. Um, I'm using fresh garlic, fresh pressed garlic, because I like the taste. And with the garlic press, you don't need to peel your garlic. You just put it in and press it like so. And you get the fresh garlic. Of course, fresh garlic has a lot of properties that the garlic powder doesn't have. But if you have your own um, garlic powder that you made from your fresh garlic, then that's another alternative. And then the only other ingredient is some salt. And this is optional. This is the optional one, right? So just about a quarter of a teaspoon of Himalayan salts, just to give it that little bit of oomph. Salt is a little pinch of salt, always makes your baking, whatever you're making, taste a little better. And because there's no leavening, you don't have to wait for it to rise or anything like you would a pancake batter. You just want to have it well incorporated. And that's it. So I've got my 10 inch skillet already heating here. Okay. And I'm just going to take one third of a cup. Here, I'll show you as I'm doing it. 
you don't need to see my me. So one third of a cup, and you just want to make sure that your pan is coated and just pop it in. So this will make um, you can use whatever size pan you want. I'm just going to put another little bit. There we go. So this uh, batter should make about six. Okay. So I'm just going to spread it out. And in the pan, I used coconut oil. Um, if you want to use olive oil, you can do that. And it just takes about three minutes or so for it to break the bubbles. The bubbles are already breaking on the top. I don't know if you can see that there in the video. But all of these tools that you see me using, you can find on my website at www.pamperchef.biz backslash Shelly Goslin and or you can click the link that is right above this right below this video and you can see all of these great products there so this is just take it'll just take like three minutes it's just bubbles breaking and we'll just let it go so in the meantime I just wanted to say that um, you know, this is a great recipe to have when you run out and you don't want to go to the store and buy tortillas or maybe as if with so many things right now, there might not be any in the store, especially if you're looking for something that's gluten free. An alternative to this one would be a corn tortilla if you're looking for uh, gluten free. It's really hard though, I've found to um, get organic or non-GMO corn tortillas or gluten for any other gluten-free tortillas so or nan bread um, so this is a great alternative if you're looking for a healthier option than what you would get at the grocery store okay let me get out I like my little um, flexible fish spatula here for things like this let me see it's not ready to turn yet as you can see it just takes a about three it takes more on the first side than it does on the second side and of course it would help if I turn up the heat because I had it just um, melting so this um, this is the stainless steel pan that I'm using here with a um, non-stick interior etch surface that is it's actually um, etched it's more for um, things like this or with browning um, steak or anything so um, let's see here if we're just about ready to flip not quite still let me turn it up this is an induction stove so this is the great thing that I like about this pan is that it can be used on induction because it's um, non-stick inside and stainless steel outside so that's a great option to have so this one it's popping up do you see the bubbles here not quite ready to turn as soon as you lift it there we go that one side is not ready now these aren't perfect they're not perfectly shaped but that's okay they're naturally imperfect and then um, if you want on the top when it comes out you can either um, just brush it with some milk some coconut oil or butter whichever you choose so this one right now this one is vegetarian actually it's vegan 
because it's made with coconut oil and coconut milk. And then if um, you're not worried about the vegan or vegetarian part of it, you could use butter if you want. And I haven't made it with regular milk because I don't drink regular milk, but um, you could always try it with regular milk or a little cream as well if you want it, if you don't have the coconut milk. So there's all kinds of options. And I'd love to hear what uh, you think of this recipe. It's still not brown enough on the bottom. And I'm just going to use a smaller one to get underneath here. See if I can get that under. It's just starting to brown. So each time you put one on, you'll need a little bit more of fat in the pan. It's only a little bit of coconut oil. And when you flip it, it just takes about two minutes on the other side. So I gave it a flip and we are all ready to go. I'll let you see here. And here we go. We've got our nice flatbread naan. I'll just let it cool for a few seconds and I'm going to put my next one in. And again, we want our coconut oil in there. And we'll just make sure that the bottom is covered before we put in our next one. So you want about a medium heat for this to get a good... And it just spreads on its own evenly. You can help it a little bit there if you want. Just go it a little bit further. You don't want it too thin or it'll rip apart. Okay. Um, each one of these is about approximately 130 calories and I believe it's about 12 to 14 grams of carbs each. Now what I'm doing is um, I'm going to put the cover on this one. See it's already broken the bubbles in the top and that will just help uh, keep the heat in the pan. All right, so I've got this and I've got my faida mix here and I, I'm having tofu. My hubby has already had his with some chicken. So I've just got some mushrooms, onions, and peppers here fried up along with some chunks of tofu and I used my chili lime spice or oh, sorry no my Tex-Mex spice which is delicious and I'm just going to add a little bit of cheese if you want you don't have to and some salsa yum yum and some guacamole and you can add sour cream if you want on there I like to put my cheese on top of whatever is hot so that it is nice and ready to go and oh it is still so hot so I'm gonna have to leave, let that sit for a few minutes but as you can see I've got a nice tortilla here so I'd love to hear what you think of this recipe Comment below and let me know um, what you think. Are you going to make it? If you do make it, come back and let me know. And uh, remember, I'm here to help you make memories one meal, in this case, one flatbread at a time. And check out, please, if you watch this video, like and uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I would love to see you online. Remember, I'm here also anytime that you need just check out my website at www.pamperedchef.biz backslash Shelly Goslin.
see you soon. Take care. Ciao for now. Salut.